algorithms we've um, achieved over time is that it's quicker for us to say is this right or not. You know, your your Let's eye your eye gets a little better. Yeah. You know, our our skill level, I guess, by showing up and doing, we can get a little more uh, refined. Uh, last week we added oil to the mm. uh, oil paint to the mm -hmm. to the lettering, mm -hmm. and, and that popped out. Mm -hmm. You know, so every day is a a series of revelations. And I think if we start to repeat, you know, one of the Smith's rules is never repeat. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because then there's no surprise. The pieces themselves have so much uh, I, it, uh, ca chaos in them. I mean, they're they're very. Um, yeah, it's all about the. So in, in magic, so where does your work fit? Where do, where do we fit? Mm. And I, I I keep thinking, you know, for my work, um, I'm imagining. You know, a primitive mask with human teeth that came out of the jungles of uh, Senegal. You know, that was a totem ritual object that somebody, uh, you know, with a patina of human blood on it. You know, that that kind of tribal ritual object that had that mm -hmm. energy. Mm -hmm. And I hope that we are making totemic objects that have that transference of energy. I mean, how does an inanimate object obtain life? How do you how do you transfer your energy into something inanimate and make it vibrate? You know, make it shake, make it scary. Um, I love Robert Rochefort. Uh, what Robert Rochefort taught is uh, something ugly can be beautiful. Uh, I guess at the core of what we've been up to look at art, you can appreciate art, you can know about art, you can study art. It's a whole different gig when you're making art mm. because you're really looking. Mm. You, you, don't, you don't look, you don't get involved on the same level as you do when you're not making. You know, you're, you're, an, you're an outsider. And well, this work also contains a lot of words. You know, yeah, you yeah, condensed, word, word based, yes. you know, really condensed things down to these haiku-like, you know, moments, and that's really that really is rich. I mean, the the language offers. There's the artwork itself with the colors and the shapes that you decide to, you know, put on a piece, but the words add another depth of layer to the whole thing. That <laughs> what I'm seeing is I want the pieces now to be able to live in a home where um, they don't have to know the whole story. Mm. Yep. In, in other words, that piece, pieces that we've been doing so, for so long have been part of another piece, and this fits over here, this fits. I'm now trying to get the messaging where it, it can stand, stand alone in its own thing. It can be in somebody's house and make sense for them, which means taking a little bit of myself out and making a little bit more room for for the for the observer. Mm -hmm. um, you'd think that was obvious. I mean, we talk about the elusive obvious mm -hmm. everywhere. We are, um, you know, that we are denizens of the blind spot, always open. <laughs> <laughs> God, oh, God. God. And we're and we're always thus the last to know. Yeah, of course, Smith cut out of uh, cut, cut out of the price of everything in, in, in mm -hmm. its place. Um, Jeff Koons uh, mirror balls uh, made it in what Smitten had in mind so and this is all before this is the footage that got cut out of Jeff Koons so what Smitten had in mind was the um, illuminated Mr. Boots and you know Mr. Boots met Buddha behind the house Buddha was a mouse Mr. Boots ate him then wham uh, the radiance of the illuminated Dharma uh, Mr. Boots became enlightened and ask me how 10 cents, you know, so at, at uh, in Love Token Alley, where all this goes on, um, there's a, a bit of a scam. You, you never know if art's part of the scam, if you don't know if it's smoke and mirrors. Uh, the smoke and mirrors aspect of art uh, fascinates me, and of course, um, what, what could art not be but a magic trick? You're taking, you 
know, twenty-five dollars of material, and you're making something out of it, and you're asking a million dollars for it, you know, and what happened between the this and the that, <laughs> you know, and getting from the this to the that. So I'm imagining bunch investor doing as they do with their cabaret act, ten set pieces, uh, you know, that again on, on this world of carpeting and you'll walk through and they'll be Jake will be playing and other people will be playing and singing and being part of the, the Bunny Investors Cabaret. So I want to play with the locker room. I want a Mr. Boots that has, you know, Mr. Boots sells air, like the mattress shirt. What I imagine is um, a 3D Mr. Boots uh, with mirrored eyes. And you go, uh, you sit in front of this and you um, and again, you have this Art Smitten worker in black jeans and a white t-shirt that says Art Smitten on it. And you'll be in this art space, uh, and you'll go in and you'll sit in front of Mr. Boots, and you'll make three wishes, you know, one for yourself, one for the community, one for the planet. Uh, Mr. Boots, you'll look, you'll take your picture and you'll see your boot, you'll see your picture reflected in the illuminated eyes of Mr. Boots. And then that picture will go, you know, on social media along with everybody else's wishes, your wishes and those wishes to spread this wish like a prayer around the world. Uh, your picture in the eyes of the illuminated Mr. Boots. And after you make your wishes, uh, the guy in the smitten outfit will hand you the device and you'll donate your $5, $10 or more, sign it. And that's the argument. <laughs> so that's how it pays. So Smitten sells air. So that was the piece that was cut out of the price of everything. Mm -hmm. And so for us, our responsibility is, well, if these guys are going to live, it's up to us to make that happen. And I would love to see that piece. Mm -hmm. With the holography. Yeah. It will happen. So that's, uh, that, that's why we, you know, again, each of the, so as we imagine this movie, um, we're imagining, I'm imagining, again, the magic dime, you know, and if you, without the love, you're a penny short of the magic dime, <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, Art Smith wore up in the single silver glove, and on his glove was love, it's, it's stenciled, and uh, the glove flew around the world, and And uh, when the glove flew first class and Smitten flew coach, it was over. And Art Smitten became smarty, and that's the party of the future. And he was an early time traveler who was not a god of nine sided polygon, and everything had nine sides. And he went and he visited Picasso, and he stood in the light, and he reflected around them. And George Brock was there, and Picasso says, Brock, cubism. And what is cubism but the telling the story through many sides? So we try to tell it through the personal life, through the dream life, through the metaphorical life, through um, different uh, characters, through different point of views. It's very hard to tell the, the truth. It's very hard to talk about, you know, one's not really interested in one's personal life, one's interested in one's personal psychology where it meets other people's personal psychology, you know, like, I assume that people are worse than me, but maybe they, or I assume that they're not better than me for sure, uh, and, uh, you know, maybe they are, yeah. you, you, you don't know, but, so, t time traveling, and now time travel to the future, and they, they shut it down really quickly because of the lottery cheats. There's a big tail. Yeah, and, and, and we didn't who we didn't know. Yeah. That's that's the magic of it. Take us out, Jake. <laughs>